Hello, I'm Scott. This is the Polaroid Snap Instant Print Design Camera. And you see right here, there's a box right in the center. And then also a box where the cord is located, which is it, hidden down here. So make sure you pop it out. First, first piece you pop out is this piece that's on top. And then the bottom piece is the box itself. So I'll just slowly tap it and eventually it comes out. And there's the camera on there as well. So let's go over the box real quick, you know, see what it looks like. So it says Polaroid 2x3 inch premium zinc paper not included. That's, you know, very important because make sure you want to buy paper as well for it. And then the paper itself, of course, is the type with the sticky back, so it's a sticker basically as you print it out. So it's a little different from the original Polaroids where you take a picture, pull it out, swish your hand around, let it, let the air, you know, have the air exposed to it, and therefore causing the changes. So that's a little different from this. This, you know, this is a little more advanced, perhaps, shall we say. So it's our printer plus camera. So both things combined into one, a parallel photo, and then a photo camera itself, the camera, so it's, you know, same thing, photo booth. So borders and colors, retro viewfinder. So it's kind of old school, but it's really nifty, and it doesn't take much to actually start off. So yeah, let's open up this box to show you what it comes with. So it comes with this box right here, the little tab in the back. Pretty easily pull and lift it up. Now this cable is right here, micro USB cable. That's how you charge it. Pretty simple, nothing too complicated. Decent quality, as well as nice and smooth, unlike the Apple cables where it's like rough. And it's also lander free to use as well. So you know, hold on the camera piece, it used to be on the other end, plug in your computer, wall plug, or even a battery. So you have an external battery to charge it right up. And nothing, nothing else in this box, just that. And most important is the manual. So this little slight manual right here. Power button itself is actually the top, so once you have that viewfinder popped up, and it's turned on. That's all that you need to tell you. And then the back side of it, it's very simple. Unlock the latch and insert the paper. Now, of course you want to put the blue paper facing downwards, so the system can scan and start it off. So let's move to the camera itself, shift everything out of the way, and then of course we work at the camera. So the camera itself is right here, it comes to the front that says Polaroid, it's actually magnetically attached. So it's a magnet right here, but don't put this in here, they'll like, you know, near your credit cards or anything that's, you know, magnet danger. So on the bottom it has the tripod stand slot, and it also looks like a speaker slot as well for you to receive sound. Little rubber, little plastic um, feet are here on me. Oh, it's all made out of plastic, so it has a nice finisher, so there's no fingerprint at all. And these corners that snap, and then the color out from it, so you see the lens right there. Pretty nice quality, right? It's flash. Up top, here's the power button right here. Now it's on, now it's off. I believe this is a timer for your delay shots. Then you have the square button, and then there's color schemes. I'm going to you know, show you what those do in a moment, and of course the red button to take a picture. And then you look at the back side right here, and the sides, this is where the paper comes out. And then on this side right here, micro USB charging. Looks like a microphone, I think the speaker was at the basement. Perhaps, you know, for playback. Micro SD card slot right here for you to put a micro SD card. And then here is where you put the paper in. Now, here it tells you how to slide off the front, but, you know, this is the most important right here. So we're put the paper facing down. So it doesn't come with paper, but I have my own with me actually today. So I'm going to bring the paper up into one little nice stop stack and make sure you do um, put around 10 make sure you put all 10 because that's what the blue paper does it tears it down so you gotta make sure you find the right direction and put it down and it's just slip in place and give it a little, little introduction to the power source so make sure you slide it in get it all into place and start off so I'm gonna give a couple of shots test it out and then I'll go back to this video and show you a little bit more about it Okay, so you can see right here, I've printed two pictures so far. You see a picture of the phone itself, and then of course the box. So let's just give a little test, and we'll take a picture of perhaps the little camera right here, but make sure you turn it on. And then it'll load up, you see lights, all your lights showing up on the sides. So it beeps twice, and now it's pretty much ready. So let's just take a picture of the phone itself. So I have my phone right here in front of it. So it's right there, just like that. So let's give it a little shot of it. So it's a flash right there, it flashed. And it's like processing it. So I have the blue piece right now sticking there. So sometimes you have a problem with the blue piece, just flip it around and then you'll be fine. So make sure you have the right position, but just give some time and then the, the tearing picture will pop out. And you know, hey, there's about 10 pieces of paper in here. Now, what you can do is keep tearing it if you want it to just put a few in there. Perhaps you have a couple left. But you can see papers come out and let know, hey, you know, it's ready to go. Just like that. So easy, very easy to use. Nothing too complicated. But I do notice that if you hit the color button, it will shift to a different shade. So that's why this one has a little red shade, because I hit a little, I hit one of the color buttons on there. So let's take a real picture for now. And let's shift it to like a, you have black and white or a darker colors, so you have a choice in that. 
but let's just do something, oh, let's say it's regular. Let's do black and white. So you tap the button to get the right color. So that's the color button right here. It goes around. Now it's black and white. So let's see if it works. Let's take a black and white picture. So once it's done, it's processing it. Lay it down. Perhaps you want to snap on the lid so no dust gets in. That's something to keep in mind. You know, you don't want dust hitting in it. So while it's doing that, let me peel off this piece right here of the phone, phone itself picture. So we can just get the split real quick. Before it prints out fully. So you know, while it's printing fully, I'm going to split the paper up. So you can see on this side, right here, let me peel it for you to see. I can peel the paper off like this. So this is this piece. It's sticky, blue on the other side. So it's a sticker itself. You can still put it together, but I don't recommend it. So you can see right here, it did take a picture of the phone. See, so you see the side of the phone itself. So I just took a side view of the picture right there and then you know, the box up right above it as well. So you can see, pretty nice. Their color of course is still kind of strange because you know it all depends on what type of setting you have a set to but and then once you're done pop it off just like that. So compact size not uh, pretty lightweight as well. And it comes with just the paper you need if you buy it. So it comes with 10 sheets. They do have a pack of 20 so if you buy a pack of 20 it's like this and you can go with the cheaper ones but I recommend going the higher quality if you want for quality because I've used the cheaper ones it works but it's not that great. So quality will be, you know, big, big detriment in that. But yeah, this is my Polaroid Snap. Hope you to your question. Shoot me a comment, and I'll see you on Hey, thanks for watching. Hello, I'm just got this the Polaroid Snap Instant Print Design Camera. And you can see right here, there's a box right in the center. And then also a box where the cord is located, which is it, hidden down here. So make sure you pop it out. First, first piece you pop out is this piece that's on top. And then the bottom piece is the box itself. So just slowly tap it, and eventually it comes out. And there's the camera on there as well. So let's go over the box real quick, you know, see what it looks like. So it says Polar 2x3 inch premium zinc paper not included. That's, you know, very important because make sure you want to buy paper as well for it. And then the paper itself, of course, is the type with the sticky back. So it's a sticker, basically, as you print out. So it's a little different from the original Polaroids where you take a picture, pull it out, swish your hand around, let it, let the air, you know, 